I don't know if you remember. Obviously, I'm a big Ricky Fowler guy. So, <clears throat> in summers when he changed his putting a whole lot. Remember, he he dropped John Teller as his swing coach and went back to Butch Harmon, yep. who was like the long time Tiger, um, the goat. Yeah, Tiger swing coach. And uh, at that time too, he also got a different putter. Mm-hmm. Right. So he signed with Puma, Cobra. He's all Cobra Cobra clubs, but he yeah. actually switched over to Odyssey putter. And at that time, I remember specifically the U.S. Open because he was in contention and he had already had played. I can't remember the exact story, but he'd played like around with Wyndham Clark and he saw his putter and like was like, hey, you know, let me try it out. Stuff like that. And Wyndham had the same putter as well. Yep. And I I follow Ricky Tracker, which if you're seeing this, that'd be awesome because it's a cool page. I keep never, up with I've it. never met an, a grown man more obsessed with Ricky Fowler in my life. In the well, most positive it, way. It's funny because like I'll I have the Ricky outfit. But this is a thing that, like, that same putter that he's using is a putter that I bought myself back in 2018. Yeah, like a while ago. Right, right, right. And I remember getting it. This is at yep, the uh, there she is. the mini Jailbird, the O-Works. Um, and I got it. I remember I got this on a Black Friday sale um, in 2018. I don't, I've always been a fan of, like, the the mallet putters rather than blades. I'm not mm-hmm. sure what you really prefer, but I, I, I like, like the blades the, more, personally. But. I like the mallets. Um, and since then, you know, I've changed the grip out a bit. But the, these, I think they stopped making them around that time, 2018, 2019. And then they've now, like, remade these. Yeah. And they've gotten pretty big in the past uh, six months or so. But I, I not going to lie, I considered selling it there for a bit because it was, they were a hot item in the the golf market all of a sudden i mean why wouldn't you want to sell it and make more money well and they started remaking them with like the black and white stripes and these red ones are kind of rare now hot commodities yeah um but at the same time i've i mean i've been using it since then it's it's the longest running club in my bag at this point Mm -hmm. everything else is you know shorter term than the past five years but for sure it's uh i love this putter oh yeah I love that. What kind of putters do you guys like? Let us know. Yeah, you, know, you want the blade down. or the mallet? What's your What's your style? Yeah, you know, when I was younger too, I uh, for a long time when I when I got my new set of clubs in like 2016, 2017, mm-hmm. I I switched then. But before that, when I was like a kid, I always had a blade, and it was like the mini golf blade looking one. Like that's how they all work. Like it was yeah. kind of two sided. Yeah, yeah. Like two-sided. And I'm left handed. Like right. everything I do is left handed. But then I golf but right golf righty. Um, and so when I was a kid, I would always swing righty, but then I would putt lefty. What? And that's what I did for the long time. And th- and I, we're talking back like when I started, like I was like 12, 13, I would golf from like my dad and my grandpa. What and that was before fuck? the like Spieth left, left <clears throat> hand low because then he yeah. started that. Because, yeah, the left hand low, yeah. But that's it was like so I, I, uh, had already been putting left-handed, you know, like left hand was low, but I was putting left-handed and then my swing. And I, I've played around with it a bit since then trying to go back to it. Cause Damn. it's like, can you swing left-handed? I, it's been a couple years since I tried it. Dylan control there in Buffalo's lefty. Mm-hmm. And, and so I used his clubs a couple of times, but not really. Like I never took full swings no with shit. the thing, but it yeah. was just like mentally, I think just like a different stroke type. It helps separate the putting stroke from, you know, like an yeah. iron stroke. No, it's really cool. I didn't know that. That's so crazy. Yeah. I know some I, people that like play baseball, like go hit right handed, but throw left handed. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's cool. I played around with my, my grip a lot since and try left hand low and stuff, but like it's just, I don't know. It still feels more comfortable just like, like I usually just do like a prayer grip. I was going to say, I, I was trying to remember what you do. I know you do the prayer grip. I do the <clears> claw. <throat> I like the claw grip personally. Um, I just yeah. feel like I have more control over it that way. If I, I get in like around. a a rough rough putting stretch, I'll I'll go back to the claw. Yeah, as like a, a safety to re- if I really feel like my mm-hmm. hands are just got too much motion in it, just to kind of like restabilize things. But sure, yeah, I definitely I I want to try the left hand low method because I feel like I've done that a couple times while like playing like putt putt, and it feels mm-hmm. it feels pretty good. It's a little awkward at first, but you can like feel it. Like I don't know, it's a little more comfortable. Oh, and also when so when you bring your putter back, do you think of it as like straight back, straight through, or do you think of it more like tiger with like the arch? It depends on the putt, really. I think more yeah. I obviously straight I try to keep it straight through. I even try to keep it more or less back and more forward just to kind mm-hmm. of um regulate the speed and um 
effort I want to put towards it. Gotcha. But if I'm hitting the, if I'm hitting like a line, like a big right to left, I try to think of it as like an arc that's going to fill it out the whole way. You know, because some people, they just like, they angle their bodies and they hit it straight no matter what just to yeah. go with the curve. I can't do that. My brain doesn't work that way. That's what I try to do. Because the other question I had was like, do you... Wait, you when do you, it the straight through, but you just turn your body? I do straight back. So I don't I don't look at the hole when I putt. I look at like my target line. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. And I don't even... I'm just like... I, I usually have my target line. I'm the same way with my shot. Like I'll find my target line and then... Putting, I mean, I'm I'm big on like marking it, and I have the line on my ball, and I point the line, and then I'm just that's all I'm looking at is my you know the line on on this mm -hmm. to that ball, and like if this is going straight back straight through, the pace has got to be right, but yeah. trusting that line. That's wild. It's so great. I I mean, this is really the kind of the first conversation we've ever had or intensive conversation yeah. we've had about that stuff. But, but yeah, I, no. I like not looking at the hole. I mm -hmm. like kind of just feeling <clears throat> the break with my feet and then yeah. setting that line and just committing to it. And once I put the marker down and the and the ball, the line of my ball was pointing that way. Right. It's like that's that's it. That's yeah. what we're committing to. I've gotten in a big <clears throat> a big routine <laughs> of like making sure at least I go to the practice green and get just just feel the tempo for it. Yeah. And give myself like that first hole or two to like really mm -hmm. dial it in. Um but yeah, I, I focus kind of on a, a point too as well, like a target point of where I want the ball to start breaking or like what I want to get to with the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or rather, you know, kind of like what you said, like feel it out with your feet and the tempo of it. But yeah, it's it's always – it's I think putting is such a funny – aspect of golf because obviously that's where the scoring happens but so many people have so many different ways about going about it and it just yeah. it blows my mind it blows my mind i also there's there's something i watched before with butch Harmon where it's like i do it quite a bit where he kind of like it's like rotating your head a little bit so that you almost like use your nose in a way of like don't let your right eye see the hole at all like you, you turn your head back slightly so that you're really just focused on that line mm -hmm. and your putter line, and that's all you're looking at. Okay. Yeah. You know, because it's kind of like there's a funny thumbnail when you're a kid and you're going to take a swing with a golf <clears throat> club, right? How often is that you're topping it because you're picking your head up too soon to see where the ball is going? It's mm -hmm. the same kind of thing with the putting. Is like just focus on making that good contact, and if you start on that line that you've read, like you have to trust that line and not look at the hole and then look after, and it's like. You still then get the feedback with the line of seeing right. like, okay, did Same I roll it ball. end over end or is it wobbly and damn, yeah, that's funny, damn. I don't and I I I think halfway through last year I eliminated because we talked about this I eliminated practice strokes like I don't yeah, the I don't Cameron Smith yeah. style <clears throat> yeah. but like it's crazy how much I mean that whole uh opening round we had in the in the member guest, I didn't take a practice putt and I made like five or six birdies. I was like, yeah, Oh yeah. fuck. All right. So it makes, I mean, it, it helps me. Cause like if you, if you read the line, if you're reading it and you know what you're going to do, your body's going to, your body, why it has like an 80% chance of, or an 80, 85 percent percentage more of like knowing what to do rather than like getting in your head about how to feel things. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I love the science behind that shit. So yeah i try to do the same with just like other iron shots <clears throat> you know like on the mm -hmm. on the t i have the again i have the line on my ball i use the line on the t as well mm -hmm. just to kind of set my start line you know if i'm if i'm starting out right to try to draw it or try to cut it um just because it's the same thing i don't once i set up i don't look at where it's going i just focus on that ball and squaring up the face to it mm -hmm. but then if i you know i'm hitting an iron or a wedge from the you know wherever on the course I'll step back and find that target line. Yeah. And then I find, I don't know who it is that does it. Um, I want to say it's Nick Faldo that really stresses that, like finding the like intermediate target in front of your ball. So if it's a leaf or a, a speck of grass or something like that, that's, you know, a foot or two in front of your ball and just locking in on that. And then that's it. You're looking from your ball to that line. And if you square your face up to get the ball to go over that target line, it's going to go on the line that you hmm. want. Interesting. Because then it's like, you know, if you miss it slightly, it's going to miss slightly. But instead of looking out and like, okay, I want to hit this at the flag, it's like, well, right. where's the flag when I'm standing over the ball? Right, yeah. That's a great way to think about it. That's why they're pros and we're not. That's for yeah. sure. Holy fuck. I think that's certainly changed quite a bit. And again, I don't always start on that <clears throat> line, but at least 
I'm only looking a few feet now that it's like, okay, it needs to go over this line for it to go where I want it yeah, to go. No, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. And then you get that instant feedback before you even see where it's mm-hmm. it's going. Yeah. That's shit. Well, things that we can integrate into our game. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.